As odd as it may sound, today we're gonna talk about beginner's luck. What up friends, Liron here. I hope you're all doing great. It's super hot in here. I'm literally dying of heat. Just opened the window a bit. Oh. Anyway, in today's video I want to talk to you about beginner's luck, what it is and how you can use it to your advantage when creating. Okay, so uh, beginner's luck, what does that have to do with art, with drawing, with painting, with all of that? So let me tell you my take on it, okay? This is my opinion from my own experience, from what I feel. Uh, it may be wrong, it may not work for everyone, but here goes. So usually in uh, games that have to do with luck, like uh, card games or roulette or stuff like that there's this term beginner's luck that when you're just starting out you get this grace period that things are going well and then with experience things go downhill now uh, sometimes this is brushed off as just just a, like a myth or something like this but I actually think there is some truth to that but it's not in the sense of luck games or things like this but actually in, in the sense of skills that you learn things that you uh, experience and just things that you acquire experience in. So let's take for example drawing or you know, even a better example, painting. So when painting in the beginning you start to use for example watercolor, you start to paint with them, you have no idea what you're doing. Um, and I don't know how many of you had that experience but for me one time at least or at least two times, twice it happened, that I look at an old painting and I'm like, whoa, how did I pull that off? It, it just looks much better than I thought it was. And the reason why that happens is that when we just start something new, for example, painting, we have that uh, student mentality. We know nothing. We have zero ego about it. We have no idea what it is we're trying to do. And it's just so much easier to start because it's all experimentation. You don't compare it to things you did in the past, so you don't have other paintings to say, oh, this is not as good as what I did. You don't uh, project anything to the future because you don't really know what's possible. Uh, and so you're just in the now, you're just actually enjoying your creation process, you're in it, you're in the moment, you're just experimenting, you move the water and it moves and it does what you want, and you're like, yo, this is so cool. Um, so this is what happens when we just start, and this mentality is so critical to improve. Uh, and to get better. Now, in the beginning, if you, we look at it in a more practical sense, you have no skills. You don't know what you're doing. You really, you can't really control a wash. You can't really match the colors you see accurately. Your colors are all over the place. They don't work together well. You don't have the skills. What you do have is a mentality that's very good for just playing around with things and enjoying yourself. And this is what gets the learning curve going in the very beginning. This is why a lot of the times learning curves look like they start really fast and then they sort of slow down. Um, so I don't really think it's necessarily you learn more things in the beginning because you didn't know anything, but I literally think you learn faster because you're more open-minded, you're more in the mindset of I know nothing, let's just play around and see what happens. And with time you get, sometimes a lot of people get into, I'm not saying, when I say you, it's not necessarily you specifically, a lot of people get into this routine and they just keep doing the same thing and the same thing and the same thing. This is why I like routine breaks, I like uh, breaking patterns. If I'm used to doing something one way and I catch myself doing that, that's like my comfort zone, I step out of it and I try to do something completely different try to draw something I never draw, try to paint in a way I never paint, try to challenge myself. So sometimes you get into this routine and it's really non-beneficial. And once you snap out of it, you are sort of kicked back into the experimentation and playing around and just enjoying yourself, enjoying your creation, enjoy what's happening on paper without judging it too much, without having too many expectations and all of that good stuff. So the beginner's luck is actually, I think, has to do with the mindset you have when you just begin something, okay? Now you may have a very negative outlook on something and then when you start it off you're like, mm, I don't like this, it doesn't look right to me. But uh, many times, for me at least, when I, when I try something new, I don't have too many expectations. I just go in it and say, well, let's try it. So this is what I think is beginner's luck. Now, you can't really recreate beginner's luck if you've been painting for, for a while now, for years. What you can do is try and step into the mindset you had when you just 
got started. So some guidelines of this mindset, and let me tell you, I really can tell you how to do that. Okay, let me, uh, just as a, as a uh, disclaimer, I can't really know because I don't know how to do it all uh, every time. But what I do know is that there are some things that I learned about myself that helped me get into that state and I encourage you to try it out too. Um, so the, the characteristics of this state is curiosity, is experimentation, it's what if I do this, complete the sentence. Um, it's, it's this sort of, um, hmm, wouldn't it be cool if, and then you just try something you never tried. So I know it's really easy to sometimes get in a routine and just do the same thing over and over. And I see, actually, a lot of people on Instagram, they just, all of their work looks the same. And I really hope my work doesn't look all the same. And I hope there is some variety to it, but there is still a distinct style. And I see a lot of people that just do the same thing. And they have a lot of followers, not small, uh, small accounts or small are it's like people that are more well known and they just keep doing the same thing over and over and over and, I, and honestly I don't see their improvement and it's just a shame you know um, so this is why I try to challenge myself and when I'm not sure what I do artistically I don't know what I want to draw or whatever I just go to YouTube find a tutorial like I did with Peter Schiller's tutorial just go for that I, I really don't know if if it's um, if it's something that will teach me or I just don't know, I just try and I copy what I see and just even copying something else, but it, this something else is different from what you usually do, can be really helpful. Okay, so um, again, I really, I don't know the point of this video, I don't really know exactly how to put yourself into that state, but I do know that uh, you can find a few quirks about yourself that will help you uh, do that. And it can be trying something new, trying a new brush, trying a new color you never used, trying a new style, trying all these sorts of things, challenging yourself like that weird exercise I showed you with the brush. Um, do whatever it takes to take on that student mentality, that curiosity, that wonder you had when you just started out. I honestly think also this is one aspect of why kids uh, learn so fast many times because uh, there's a lot of uh, theories around it and there's a lot of research around it that just shows that uh, from what I heard one thing I really don't know if it's true children are just they're so dependent on on others on adults that they have to learn really fast and this is why their brain is is meant to soak up a lot of things but as we move on in life we sometimes tend to forget it I just figured out this may make noise so sorry if it did <laughs> um, uh, sometimes we tend to forget it and I'm really constantly trying to remind myself to be in that state of mind of just fun and creation and experimentation which is really beneficial and this is what I call beginner's luck. So I really hope this video helped you. I hope I didn't ramble too much. I hope it's not a rant or something like this. Uh, let me know in the comment below what you take from this and don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't and uh, follow me on Snapchat and Instagram and I will see you again in another video tomorrow.